Welcome everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. This is Metal Canyon and we will be Let's Playing Neo Scavenger. A uh, rather interesting indie game, turn-based, which has been gifted to me by... <sighs> I forgot, I didn't write it down because when I get games gifted to me through Steam, well, through the uh, trading option instead of via a gift which requires me to friend people, um, you know, I don't get any logs. I don't know who gifted it to me. So I do apologize. Let me know in the comments or in the PM if you'd rather prefer to be anonymous. And uh, I will put you in the description. So, let's start a new game. Uh, this is quite a complex game. Which I've only tried a little bit on the internet. I do think you can play it there as well. Uh, so this is... We create our character. Moves left, base moves, turn five, barefoot, minus one. I have no idea what any of this means. Player's hunger. No, this is hunger. Slate thirst. Well rested, unburdened, comfortable, outdoor temperature, and unhurt. Okay. Skills and abilities you can choose from. <clears throat> Click the abil uh, abilities, blue colored. You want from left and place into available space at, uh, at right. So these are the spaces. Click the red colored, you want from left and place into available slots on right, so can you put it on these? No. Ah, okay. So, th that many slots, okay. Can you place them here? No, you can only place them... No? What? And place into available space at the right. Take, drop. Oh, there we go. That was weird. Why? Couldn't we do that ourselves? Ah, we have to be a little more specific. So we can only take four of these. Let's see, what are we gonna take? Hacking skill at manipulating computers. Improved healing rate via procedure uh, training and sterilization techniques. More detailed stat bars on condition screen. Um, wait a second. Current cursor mode. Wait, main menu. I want to... Uh, music volume. Maybe a little less. <clears throat> there we go. Alright. So. Uh, medic. Yeah. Hiding ability to hide is more effective. Camp concealment stat visible on camp screen. Oh, even that. Melee. Better chance to hit in melee combat. Higher wound severity. Better defense in combat. Can leg trip in combat. Metabolism. Food and water intake rates reduced. Healing rate slightly reduced. Oh. Athletic. Less fatigue per move. Can run away faster in battle. Can run further on map before run moves deplete. Tracking. Can spot older tracks than normal. And high tracks is more effective. Eagle Eye. Can see one hex further than normal. Light and line of sight permitting. And can detect hidden things easier. Strong. Can carry more without being encumbered. Melee attacks are more damaging. Can create obstacle in combat. Tough. Higher pain threshold. Immune system effectiveness and resistance to wounds. Ability to headbutt in combat. <laughs> Trapping. Ability to trap and prepare animals. Botany. Knowledge of herbs, fungi, and other useful plants. Lockpicking. Knowledge in bypassing locks and other security devices. Electrician. Knowledge of electronic system and components. Ranged. Higher chance of hitting with a ranged weapon. Hmm. Mechanic. Knowledge of mechanical systems. Right. So strong kind of sounds good. Melee as well. <clears throat> these two go hand in hand, I guess. I guess I could take tough as well. But I want to get some of these as well. Uh, maybe mechanics or mechanical systems or electrician. Let's do mechanic. And maybe lockpicking. Or should I do something else? Trapping. Or tracking. Uh, <clears throat> let's do... Tra 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 trap and prepare animals. Let's do that. So we're strong, we're a melee fighter, we can do some mechanical stuff and we're a trapper. So, feeble, melee attacks, effectiveness is lessened, can carry less. Obviously we can't take this one because we're strong. Fragile, why would you want these traits? Physical wounds, pain and infections are more severe to you. Healing is slower. Let's see, do we get some more... Ah, we got another slot! Ah, of course, see. Myopia, can see one hex less than normal and detecting hidden creatures is harder. Metabolism, food and water intake rates increased, healing rates slightly increased. Well, this is the one kind of good. Difficulty staying asleep and sleep is less beneficial. Let's take metabolism and let's take... <clears throat> botany, hiding, tracking, medic. All of these are quite nice. Hmm... Eagle eye tracking. Hmm. T 
tough. Resistance to wounds. I guess I should take this because I'm a melee fighter. Not really sure how everything will go. So, that's it. We've got a punch. Confirm. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. You wake up disoriented, slumped over the base of an empty cryosleep pod, still damp from cryofluid. The thick dust from the floor clings to your skin, leaving a clean spot on the ground where a large O5 is painted. Across the room there is an open door to the hallway and a broken window leading outside. Just as you gather your wits, an unearthly scream erupts from down the hall beyond the doorway. Something is coming. Fast. Oh, that's not good. So there's the... Uh that's uh, where we came out of. Oh, there's more people over here. Strong, prepare to fight it. Prepare to fight it. R rig the door to stay shut. Ooh, I could try this. Currently selected response. Rig the door to stay shut. Can I do this as well? No. Strong. So let's uh, rig the doors. Using a common maintenance override code, you switch the door controls into maintenance mode, forcing the door closed and locked. The creature howls madly, slams into the door and rams it a few times before its muffled sounds recede again. Phew, so that's it. <clears throat> You're standing in a cryostasis room, though it looks like you might have been the only survivor. Search the console for records. You check the console for any patient info and come across three records. Anton Blubber, emergency contact Angela Blubber, so that's, I guess, his wife. Or probably late white. Uh, Detroit, billing info. Philip Kindred. Oh, that's us. Tank number five. Philip Kindred, no data. Billing info account, Detroit Savings Bank. Lloyd Blank check. Is this like, uh, you know, those things today when, they, uh, when, when you die, they quickly... Uh, uh, freeze you up in hopes that in the future they will be able to resurrect you again. And this is kind of like the same, just that we're not dead. Or might have been, I don't know. Because, you know, every every contact ha uh, has an emergency contact and a savings bank. So, <clears throat> well, there's nothing else for us to do here. I can't click on any of this. This is what we get. Can I... What's this? Open close encounter screen. Um, there's nothing we can do. This is a punch. Moves left, main menu. Destroy, split, stack, shift. Okay, so I guess there's nothing else except climb out the window. You decide to go outside and see if you can figure out where you are. Avoiding the broken glass, you step onto the uh, sill and outside rustling some plants that have grown wild in the area. It's cool outside and damp. Probably morning. You're in the parking lot of Kaig's cryo facility, but everything looks disused and in disrepair. Plants have pushed their way through the pavement and over the facility. Worst of all, nothing looks familiar. You don't remember this place or even who you are. Your frustration mounts, but you catch it and put it in check. Might as well take a look around. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Outdoor temperature, you're getting colder. Player is unburdened by what player is carrying. Player is comfortable. All right. uh, let's see. When traveling in the world of Neo Scavenger, you will notice some hexes with boxes or magnifying glasses on them. Boxes mean that the hex has items to pick up. A gold outline means there are new items since you've last been there. Okay, so a gold outline. Magnifying glasses mean that the hex can be scavenged for items. Most of the really useful stuff must be found by scavenging. However, scavenging takes time and energy, and you risk uh, danger every time you do. Okay, hex has items in it. While standing in such a hex, click to see items in it. While standing in such a hex, click to start scavenging. Okay. <clears throat> so that's us. Let's see, we can run, hide, hide tracks, spy, scavenge. Open, close, item screen, player condition screen. Let's see. Oh, so that's us. Hospital gown. <laughs> And it's got a value, so we can sell, I guess. Uh, what's this? Some kind of amulet? Bronze talisman on a braided leather string. Hmm. What? Value 20. What are these? Shards. Oh, probably uh, the glass shards, I'm guessing. Condition. Barefoot cam benefits. Medical skill required to see detailed health bars. Uh, what's this? Player conditions. Okay, so this is, I guess, if we get damaged or something. 
Camp screen, currently used campsite, any old spot on the ground. Shelter, sleep would go up, okay. Vehicle screen, well we don't have a vehicle, so... Show zoomed out minimap. Oh yeah, these are the hexes, that's a big map. Uh, skills and abilities, that's our stuff, and crafting screen, wow. What can I do? Stuff the above combo makes. Okay. Right, never mind. Um, right, let's go and scavenge. Is there stuff over here? How do I search it? Wait. Spy on targeted creatures. Scavenge the area for anything useful. Let's do that. Once you begin scavenging, you must first choose the location to search. Some hexes have only one, others will have more. Then you will be able to show, uh, will be shown the relative success chance and safety levels of the scavenging process. You are also shown tools and skills you can use to add, uh, adjust the results. Green full bars are good, red empty bars are bad. Loot, chance of finding a loot at, uh, or a campsite, that's this. Safety, chance of avoiding an accident. And sneak, chance of scavenging without attracting attention. Choose your options carefully. So this is the only thing we have, cryo facility. It's not that sneaky, but at least it's safe. Once you have started scavenging, you are shown some areas available to scavenge. Choose one and press confirm. Despite its high-tech appearance, this facility seems to be tucked away in the wilderness, out of sight. This bodes well for the chances of finding something of value, or even shelter, providing nothing else has set up shop here with those same ideas. Well, that's a lot. Loot, jeez. Let's see. You found something! Was it just that shard? Oh. Consume, use this to re-enter cryo facility. Okay. Uh, so we just found what? Another shard? It, I already have five shards and an extra shard over here, didn't, didn't I? Hmm. That well, kind of sucks. Alright, let's uh, go over here then. Ooh. Let's scavenge. Looking around you, there appear to be a few areas uh, worth checking out. An open field. Loot, very little. Lots of staf safety, though, so let's do that. No useful items found this time. Your activity likely alerted nearby creatures. Ugh. Ooh, as you approach the town, there is no sign of activity. Buildings stand in ruin. Vehicles are overturned and blackened with fire. Explosion marks radiate uh, outward from walls and pavement. In the distance, strange-looking creatures circle in the sky like monstrous leathery vultures. The world has drastically changed from what you knew. Some sort of cataclysm has befallen Earth, returning mankind to the Dark Ages. And along with it, your hopes of finding a warm meal and some answers. You decide to look around and scavenge what you can from the ruins. By the way, the music that's playing in the background is not the game's music. That's, uh... I'm adding music. Um... What's this? Are these my tracks or something? Let's see. Current status barefoot, strong, tough, current weapon, punch, hiding, false. Right, let's... Uh, recently moved... Can I... Finish turn to restore movement points. Ah! Movement points left zero. Okay, end the turn. Right, so... Player's hunger is sated. Right, let's scavenge over here. Looking around you, there appear to be a few areas. An abandoned office tower. Only an office tower? Uh, safety, lots of safety and sneak. Right, strong. Scavenge brutishly. How is that going to help me? Oh. oh, it gives you more loot, but less uh, safety and sneaking. Okay, let's try that. No useful items. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. What is that thing over there? Does that mean there's still something? High tracks. Cover your tracks in this hex. Would that be useful? Huh. Uh, he looks like he has a pistol. Stranger. Uh, cover none. Visible yes. Weapon pistol. That's not gonna be good. Let's see. Surrender to target. Caution. Drop all your items and offer your surrender. Must see target. Uh, can I talk to him? Demand target, surrender, threaten, dodge, advance, charge, offer to talk. Offer to stop battle with target and begin talks. Are we battling him? 
If any combatant still wants to fight, battle continues. We'll distract you for one turn. Alright, let's uh, offer to talk. Uh, stranger is exposed to easy attack for a moment. Player offers to talk with bad mother. Player is temporarily distracted. And turn. Uh, condition for overall. Okay, what happens? Charges at player. Brilliant. So he's charging me. Great. Well, I don't think he'll want to uh, talk to me, and I don't think we can really uh, do this when he has a pistol. Right. Desperate retreat, threaten, dodge. Duck the target's next attack, making you harder to hit. Chance to move one space away from target. Uh, charge, move two through three spaces towards target. Range 20. Oh, he's still far away then. Let's offer cease fire then. 17 range. End turn. Bad mother charges. <laughs> uh, take cover. Must be at least one space away from all enemies. Low chance of being detected if hidden. Demand target surrender. Let's try that. Let's, we're trying everything. Bad mother charges. <laughs> okay. He's 11 units away or whatever. Uh, let's... Hmm. Let's take cover. Until he comes closer. Uh-oh. It's harder to hit with ranged weapons, but he only moved one space towards me. That's not good. Advance under cover. Oh, excellent. Maintaining cover. Batmother is exposed to easy attack for a moment. Well, I still have to move closer. Four. Bad mother charges a target. Okay, let's, uh... He's gonna go three spaces towards me, and I'm gonna go one. There we go. Now. Melee surge, launch a flurry of melee attacks at target. Oh, and this music is now from the game, actually. So I'm not gonna be adding my own music. Never mind. <laughs> uh, chance to hit target one to three times and stun them for one turn. Ooh, you automatically lose next turn. No! Must see target. High chance of being detected. Use current melee attack on target. Well, he's gonna sh bloody shoot me. Let's melee surge. Oh, what happened? What, 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 wait, wait, wait. What happened? Player needs a moment to recover from uh, before acting again. Oh, launches a flurry of attacks at Bad Mother and hits. Bad Mother needs a moment to recover. Player smashed Bad Mother's head with a punch. Bad Mother has a concussion and is somewhat disoriented and unable to move for a moment. Has a concussion. Player smacked Bad Mother's lower left arm with a punch. Smacked Bad Mother's head with a punch. Uh, Bad Mother is barefoot and cannot travel as easily. Bad Mother has died of a severe traumatic brain injury. We've... we've punched him to death. Horrible. Jeez. I was... I really thought we were gonna die there. Wow, that's... Oh, I should have clicked on the hexes when there was stuff like that. Look at all this stuff. Well, why did you attack me, you stupid idiot? Wait. We can pick that up. Right, let's take the backpack. You can come as backpack. Excellent. Nice. Airy brand plastic water bottle. What's this? Water. Well, let's... Can I put that in? Excellent! There we go. We've got water in the water bottle. Was that stones? I don't really need them. Oh. Actually got left and right boots. That's pretty good. Condition is not great, but at least we won't be barefoot. Khaki cargo pants. Um... Brown t-shirt. Let's put that on. Contents to items. This is brilliant. Let me let me take the. Wait. Let me take the gown off. Because I don't. It really. I don't think it really helps. There we go. Brown. Oop. Brown t-shirt. What do we have here? Handful of string and scrap of paper. It reads: roasted meat on a stick, medium or large shaft, heat source, medium fresh meat. Okay, so it's a recipe. Oh, rifle scope with strap. Not bad. Pistol. I'm gonna take that. Small chunk of meat cured. Excellent. Bloody hell, this is really gonna help me. Let's take the rock as well. I don't think I really want to take a body. I mean, you can actually... Bloody hell! It's carrying a heavy load and the movement rate is much slower. No, I'm not gonna take the body. Ugh. You can sell it for one dollar. <laughs> 
Well, this has been a good start, and this is actually a rather intriguing game. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.